It is suggested by the available evidence that pole shifts encompass both magnetic and geophysical phenomena, exhibiting a recurring and predictable cycle of cataclysms. These cataclysms entail significant seismic activity, such as massive earthquakes and tsunamis, as well as alterations in latitude and altitude. Furthermore, they have been associated with mass extinctions and the demise of civilizations, ultimately relegating them to the realm of myth and legend. It is worth noting that this information may not be readily disclosed by mainstream governmental and academic authorities. Nevertheless, multiple disciplines, including geology, biology, astronomy, physics, history, and mythology collectively provide evidence supporting the notion that a pole shift is anticipated to occur within this century. One of the great mysteries of human evolution, is the extinction of the Neanderthals. Remember, every discovery is a step closer to knowledge, but only if we proceed with caution and diligence as we unravel the mysteries of our past. This story demonstrates the value of skepticism, questioning, and not taking things at face value, even in the world of science. It's the story of how a single discovery can rock the foundations of our knowledge. The cataclysmic pole shift hypothesis is a scientific claim that there have been relatively recent, geologically rapid shifts in the axis of rotation of Earth, causing calamities such as floods and tectonic events or relatively rapid climate changes. As you may know, the magnetic north and south poles of the Earth are not fixed or linked to the rotational axes of the planet. The magnetic poles move and wobble, and occasionally switch places completely, as appears to have happened 41,000 to 42,000 years ago. This temporary switch lasted approximately 800 years before reverting. It is now referred to as the Le Champs event or the Le Champs excursion. The study goes on to claim that a climate change could have caused a series of strange events 42,000 years ago. Large mammals in Australia, in particular, became extinct around this time. Neanderthals became extinct in Europe, and elaborate cave paintings began to appear in Europe and Asia. Previously, scientists blamed the extinction of the Neanderthals on a variety of factors, including increased competition from modern humans and climate change. For several thousand years, Neanderthals competed with modern humans in Europe, and they had different skills and tool industries. Neanderthals and modern humans most likely lived in separate communities, with some interbreeding. With a 95.4% certainty, the extinction of the Neanderthals and the demise of the Mysterian tool industry occurred between 41,030 and 39,260 calibrated years ago. Researchers estimated Neanderthal extinction at 41,227 calibrated years ago, with a standard deviation of 219 years, and 39,528 to 41,013 calibrated years ago using a different method. Outside of this range, Mysterian ages have been recorded at several locations in southern Iberia, including Gorham's Cave in Gibraltar, but these ages should now be ignored. The extinction of Neanderthals and large mammals 42,000 years ago coincided with a weakened geomagnetic field that reduced protection from ultraviolet radiation. This explains how our ancestors evolved within the mammal population. Ultraviolet radiation had a significant impact on mammal evolution. The result was not a blitzkrieg, but a gradual alteration of the genome, say the scientists. Modern humans, unlike Neanderthals, survived the prolonged UV radiation, or UVR, because of a key difference in their genome that better protected them from UVR. Scientists already knew that a hydrocarbon receptor protein differed between early European modern humans and Neanderthals, but they hypothesized that the difference made Neanderthals more susceptible to environmental toxins such as those emitted by campfires. The study links different receptor protein variants in Neanderthals and modern humans to different UVR tolerance and links Neanderthal decline to weakened magnetic fields and resulting UVR exposure. According to the study, two extinction events, one 40,000 years ago and another 13,000 years ago, appear to have coincided with periods when the Earth's magnetic field was weak. 
Scientists claim that by looking back 200,000 years, the timings of branching episodes in the human family tree can be linked to the magnetic field, implying that UV radiation played a significant role in our evolutionary history. Magnetic fields can mean the difference between extinction and survival over generations, when the field is strong, it protects Earth from solar wind, which produces ozone-depleting chemicals, weakening the ozone layer and allowing more UV radiation to reach the Earth's surface. Magnetic field strength can be tracked over time by sampling seafloor sediments and ice cores. Several episodes of low field strength, and thus more intense UV radiation, have affected large long-lived mammals, including Neanderthals, over the last 100,000 years, whereas smaller mammals have often been able to cope. The timing of extinction was determined by the strength of the global magnetic field, the affected locations, including Australia, North America, and Europe, and the geometry of atmospheric ozone depletion. Phylogeography, the study of human dispersal, shows that when people migrate from one region to another, they accumulate new mutations that are unique to that region. Local adaptation to different habitats, as well as changes in exposure to mutagenic solar radiation, which is controlled in part by the magnetic field, are potential sources of phenotypic divergence. Humans have adapted to differences in climate, altitude, and resource availability during migrations. Migration to new environments changes the selection pressures on the human genome, and genetic studies have identified specific loci that are likely targets of selection for UVR adaptation. Because highly pigmented skin protects against skin cancer but reduces vitamin D3 synthesis, differences in UVR exposure place different selection pressures on pigmentation genes. What's more, as a result of mutations that occurred between 42,000 and 38,000 years ago, Eurasian Homo sapiens were able to downregulate melanin production, develop lighter skin, and synthesize vitamin D in higher latitudes with less solar radiation. In fact, a recent study on genes related to skin color, proved that, that some genes for lighter skin have existed for nearly a million years, implying that hominins living in the northern hemisphere had lighter skin than those living in the southern hemisphere, just like humans today. Meanwhile, another study claims that 99% of the human race went extinct nearly a million years ago, which corresponds to the last full magnetic pole reversal 800,000 years ago. We can only imagine how devastating this full pole reversal, which lasted 22,000 years, would have been compared to the 500-year-long partial reversal 42,000 years ago. However, because of the field's role in modulating stratigraphic ozone, the strength of Earth's magnetic field in the past, as recorded by rocks and sediments, provides a proxy for past flux of ultraviolet radiation to the Earth's surface. Mammalian fossils found in Australia and Eurasia around 42,000 years ago, show an important die-off of large mammals, including Neanderthals in Europe. A large mammalian die-off appears to have occurred 13,000 years ago in the Americas and Europe. Both die-offs can be linked to minima in the strength of the Earth's magnetic field, implying that variations in UVR flux to the Earth's surface influenced mammalian evolution. Estimates of the timing of branching episodes in the human evolutionary tree based on modern and fossil DNA and Y chromosomes can be linked to minima in field strength over the last 200,000 years, implying a long-term role for UVR in human evolution. New fossil discoveries, improved fossil dating, understanding of the past strength of the Earth's magnetic field, and refinements to the human evolutionary tree are all focusing attention on a possible link between UVR arriving at the Earth's surface, magnetic field strength, and events in mammalian evolution. According to the report, a magnetic field reversal, along with changing solar winds, contributed to an environmental crisis and mass extinctions 42,000 years ago. It happened around the time of the extinction of the Neanderthals, an extinct human species that once roamed what is now Europe, and it would have been accompanied by electrical storms, widespread auroras, and an influx of cosmic radiation. It would have been terrifying. Scientists believe that the extinction of the Neanderthals was caused by a weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. In point of fact, the weak magnetic field would have resulted in less protection from ultraviolet radiation. 
this could have eventually resulted in health issues, contributing to the decline of our ancient relatives. The study, published in the journal Reviews of Geophysics, linked changes in the Earth's geomagnetic field to the evolution and extinction of mammals, claiming that weakening periods in the field appear to correlate with extinction episodes all over the world. The magnetic field of Earth extends far into space from the planet's interior. It shields the planet from solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun. If these particles reach our atmosphere, they have the potential to deplete the ozone layer, which protects the planet from UV radiation. The magnetic field is constantly changing. It shifts, becomes stronger and weaker, and occasionally reverses its poles. When this occurs, the magnetic field weakens. The magnetic field is estimated to have been only 5% of its current strength during a reversal that occurred around 41,000 years ago, known as the Lechamp event. Furthermore, analyses of Componian ignimbrite tephra from archaeological sites in Eastern Europe revealed that the eruption occurred early, in a dry period post-dating the end of the Middle Paleolithic and the Mysterian tool industry, and thus post-dating Neanderthal extinction. But the tephra overlies and thus post-dates the Lechamp excursion in Black Sea sediment cores. Short-term cold and dry conditions in Europe associated a cold spell have been proposed as another possible stressor on Neanderthals. Radiocarbon spikes indicated that the magnetic field had weakened to about 6% of its current strength 41,500 years ago. The poles flipped at that point, and the field recovered some strength before crashing and flipping again 500 years later. Scientists observe that not only was the Earth's cosmic ray shield broken, but so was the Sun's rays. Ice core evidence suggests that the Sun was experiencing several grand minima periods of low magnetic activity, around this time. To investigate the implications, the researchers used a climate model, which predicted that the cosmic ray bombardment would have eroded the ozone layer, reducing the heat it normally captures from ultraviolet rays. The high altitude cooling would have changed wind flows, which could have resulted in drastic changes on the surface, such as a cooler North America and a warmer Europe. During the Adams event, the Earth's magnetic field was reduced to 0 to 6% strength. We had almost no magnetic field at all. Our cosmic radiation shield was completely depleted. The skies would have been illuminated by widespread auroras if the magnetic reversal 42,000 years ago played a role in the extinction of life on Earth, according to scientists. The reversal could help explain evolutionary mysteries, such as the extinction of Neanderthals. The outcomes were dramatic. Solar flares and galactic cosmic rays ripped up particles in the Earth's atmosphere, ionizing the atmosphere and zapping the ozone layer. In fact, the world was turned upside down, at least magnetically. Our forefathers would have witnessed incredible light displays across the sky, both day and night. Aurorae, which are normally restricted to the polar regions, would have spread around the world. The ionized air would have been an excellent conductor for electrical storms, increasing the frequency of their occurrence. The environmental turbulence, as well as the loss of UV protection from the ozone layer, could explain the sudden emergence of cave art as early humans sought refuge in caves. El Castillo Cave in Spain contains the oldest known cave art in Europe, dating back around 42,000 years. These red handprints could be linked to an ancient type of sunscreen, that provided some protection from UV radiation. This reversal event was responsible for the extinction of many mammal species in Australia and Eurasia, including Neanderthals. As the field weakened, more UV radiation from the sun was able to pass through, affecting animal and plant health by damaging their DNA. The cosmic ray attack charged the atmosphere to the point where this could have resulted in mutations that were harmful to Neanderthal health over time. Contemplate that, dear listeners, as we navigate the complexities of our times.